Hello everyone, this is Ambeve Chukala from IHU Delft. This lecture video demonstrates how the protocol can be used to pre-process the vapor data. The main purpose of Module 1 is preparing the data for further analysis. To perform the analysis, all the data is sampled to the same resolution. Many of the vapor data sets are available at the same resolution. The resampling is therefore needed for reference evapotranspiration and precipitation data that are available at coarser resolution. In the example case, we identified the area for analysis using a shape file to crop out the area of investigation. This is followed by a procedure to mask out non-irrigated areas. There are different ways to extract the areas for analysis which can be applied, but these are not elaborated in this pro protocol. For the analysis, it is important to select a homogeneous area with one single crop type and similar crop season. There are four main steps to run this module. Firstly, make sure the input data to the module are ready. That is, the preceding module is complete. Secondly, launch the Jupyter Notebook. The simplest option to open the Jupyter Notebook is start with opening the Vapor WP Master folder, which is downloaded from the GitHub repository. In the open folder, in its address bar, type Jupyter Notebook and press Enter key. That leads you to open Jupyter Notebook environment. Then, thirdly, open Notebooks folder. And it shows all the modules in the protocol. Finally, run the module. So we have here Vapor WP master folder. It's a folder which is unzipped from the file that's downloaded from the GitHub repository. So we open it and then to launch Jupyter Notebook, we type Jupyter Note book in the address bar and then press enter and uh, launch it Jupyter Notebook uh, we see all the files and folders uh, if we click on Notebook we should able to see all the modules the six modules from 0 to 5 in this lecture video, we demonstrate module 1 because module 0 is already executed. So to make sure whether module 0 is executed or not, since the purpose of module 0 is to download the vapor data, so we should be able to check that. So if we open data, so there are datas which are downloaded and then in, uh, they are downloaded based on the boundary shape file uh, which will be used as a demonstration case study uh, which is called Sinavane, uh, a sugar cane producing area in Mozambique and the whole demonstration from module 1 to 5 in fact will be based on this project area it's also a place where if you want to run uh, this model uh, for different shape file or for different new case study, it's a place where it has to be changed. So we have the downloaded data, so it means we should able to simulate uh, or execute module one. If we click on module one, then this page will be opened and basically it has three main steps. Start importing modules or libraries and then 
does uh, resampling and finally filter non cropped area. So it starts importing the modules or library, which are standard library functions, which are inbuilt in Python. So if we click uh, on this, then it means now it's run. And then the step B or the second step is resampling. So there are two raster files to resamples in this case, which are evapotranspiration and precipitation because they have coarser resolution compared to other layers. So to resample evapotranspiration, first we import the evapotranspiration data and also a data which helps us uh, uh, a template. In this case, is actual evapotranspiration. So if we run, then we should able to import the files. We can check the size and shape of the raster file for the actual evapotranspiration, which is used as a template raster. It has more rows and columns compared to the uh, raster file, which is uh, the, refer the reference evapotranspiration raster file to be resampled, which has a smaller number of rows and columns. So uh, when this resampled raster file, the evapotranspiration has to be saved uh, in a folder. So now we are here making or connect to this direct a directory uh, of the output folder. So the output folder here, we named it. Uh, and then if we run this cell, then it tells us where this folder to be created, which will be in the subdirectory of the data folder. And then we just simulate, we uh, run this cell, which is uh, doing the resampling. When it's finished, then this star will change into number. Now we can check the result of the resampling. So now we have the num same number of rows and columns as the source file, which is the actual evapotranspiration. So the next resampling is for the precipitation. Uh, again, we start importing the data to be resampled and also data which helps uh, as a template for resampling. And then we can again check the size and shape of the the layers to be resampled and also the sample, the the source one or the template one. And then we create the output folder where the resampled precipitation data to be saved. It will be under the subdirectory of data. And then we run this cell to execute the resampling and still it remain start until it's finished or this will be dark but now white so it means it's finished again we can check the size and shape of the resampled raster which has the same as the resolution of the actual evapotran actually evapotranspiration which is used as as a, re a reference uh, as a source file. So the last step is filtering non cropped area using land cover map and also project boundary. Uh, for the crop map, we used the ID42 to crop uh, to filter out non irrigated crop land because this is a, a land class ID of the land cover map that we are using from Vapor. So the project area, since it is a shape file, the Cinevane that we have seen, first it needs to be converted into TIFF form. So uh, to do that, first we import the read the shape file, that is the Cinevane. 
and then this function does a conversion from the vector which is from the shape file into the raster one and then save it into the output folder so it's done and to filter then crop and also areas which fall outside the project area so we start importing the input data the input data or the data that we want to filter are transpiration actual web transpiration reference web transpiration net primary production and the files that we use to mask out are land cover map as well as the project area which is converted from the shape file into the tiff format so if we run this cell then it should able to import the data and then now we create the output folder to save those, those filtered uh, data they are created under the sub directory of folder data and then we can of course check uh, to what extent uh, this filtering works so if we plot just project area uh, this is the shape file and if we just plot the actual evapotranspiration this is what it looks like so it has it covers so this data covers all the uh, areas outside the project also even within the project which are not part of the project and then we can also uh, map this actual web transpiration using the the uh, uh, mask out the non irrigated cropland, uh, which means uh, we just plot only the irrigated land uh, within this project uh, within this uh, layer using this layer and then this is what we got but still we have areas outside the project area the boundary so if we remove all those area outside the project boundary this is what we got so the filtration works this way then after filtering for non for uh, non irrigated filtering out or removing non irrigated area as well as for uh, areas which are outside the project boundary then uh, we should able to see a clear uh, data which is within the project territory so first we filter transpiration layer so when this is finished then it should be followed by the next uh, filtration process for other layer which is in this case evapotranspiration in fact you see this star remain and will be converted only to number when the task is or the filtration is uh, finished and also at the same time uh, this button shows a busy and when it's finished it become idle so still it is doing the filtration and now it's finished so similarly we can do uh, removing then uh, yeah cropped part irrigated part for evapotranspiration so this function does the filtration and then save it in the folder that we created Okay, now finish so filter reference up transpiration layer and finally this module will be finished after filtering the net primary production still we are filtering the reference up transpiration so as I already mentioned early uh, there are different ways that you could do this step 
and so this is how you could make the filtration uh, using uh, Python script in Jupyter Notebook. Not yet finished. It's busy. Okay. It's done now. We can check if we created all those folders. So now we have data. So in data, now we have new folders uh, resampled and also uh, filtered, which is as a result of running module one. So then module two should be based on those new data created. Thank you very much for listening to this lecture video.